since I did a chit chat get ready with me life update. It's been a little minute. Life has been lifing. Like period. <laughs> life has been lifing. This is where I keep all my makeup in. I got it from Dolls Kill. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but it's like this huge Betty Boop chest chamber and it holds my jewelry and it holds my makeup and stuff that I wear when I go out, like stuff to push up the breast and stuff like that. So I have like this, got these pasties in here, I got from Forever 21, I got this tape to, you know, lift up the breast chaff. First things first, I'm going to be doing my foundation. I use really cheap foundation. I remember I used to wear like Kat Von D and Fenty Beauty and those are all great and dandy. But as I'm getting older, I guess, and I don't really go out as much, my makeup is just becoming very like beauty supply store, $5 foundation, because it does the same thing to me. I've been using this for years. My Ruby Kisses No More Blemish Liquid Foundation Oil Free Natural Finish All Day Wear. And it's $5 at the beauty supply store. I my face with She Glam. I got this from Sheen. Sheen has some good makeup stuff. Don't sleep on um, Sheen or Shein or however you say it but she glam so it's like a um it's a skin primer and it comes in this jar it's really fancy looking and it's super affordable so what i do is i just kind of like put that around my face like that well let's see what's new with me um my birthday's coming up i'm turning 33 april 6th today is april 3rd um i don't know how to feel i don't know for some reason I get like emotional around my birthday. It's weird. Does anybody else get emotional around their birthday? But I'm happy that I made it another year. Despite all that I've been through throughout my life, I made it another year. And then I'm also sad because I guess like I'm not at where I should be at this age also. So it's kind of like a little bit of like, damn, I should be further in life than where I am now. Um, but then, in, then at the same time, it's very like, well, you made it, you know, like, Give yourself some credit. Um, so I have like a lot of, of mixed emotions. So I'm just gonna buff this into my skin. I'm just gonna use this little mirror because I can see better. Just buff this into my skin. Um, yeah, so I get kind of sad on my birthday. But you know, I'm used to it. So usually I'll get a little sad. And then when it's time for me to go clubbing or go wherever like my loved ones are celebrating me at, I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm, I feel a little bit more better. Um, I'm pretty sure once I do my makeup and put on my dress and my wig and shoes and stuff out and then get a drink, I'll probably feel better. But, you know, I do get a little emotional on my birthday. That's just me. Um, so, yeah, birthday's coming up. Can't believe I'm going to be 33. It's crazy because I don't feel 33. And I don't look 33. <laughs> Right? No. I look like I'm 27. Well, no, wait, wait hold up. That's kind of old, too. I look like I'm 21. I think. <laughs> and don't say no, you don't. Yes, I do. I feel like I'm 21. But, um, yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm at, this, and then another thing, like, I'm at the age of, like, babe, like, you know, when you get in your, your, if you're like me, you're childless, child free, I would say, um, and you reach your 30s like i'm gonna reach i'm not in my mid 30s i'm still in my early 30s early 30s is 33 i think mid 30s is like 35 so i'm still in my early 30s but you know i'm creeping to the mid and i have no children and you know like i got family that's like when are you gonna have children you know my mom surprisingly she is just very like i wouldn't say anti-kids but because my mom she raised four children by herself at a young age. She's very like pro, don't have any kids at all. <laughs> Live your life. Like that's what, that's kind of how my mom is right now. Like yeah, she wants a grandchild because she doesn't have any from either of us, all four of us, but she's still, you know, like, you're still young, there's stuff you gotta accomplish, live your life. And I totally agree because at this, like, I don't know if I want kids. Like, I'm in a loving relationship with my boyfriend. We just made five years the other day. So I'm just going to brush my eyebrows up with this spoolie. I got this from Sheen as well. 
and it has an angle brush on this side and a spoolie so I'm just gonna do that because next I'm gonna do my eyebrows I already did my foundation as you can see it's evenly distributed all over my face I'm gonna be using she glam again remember I told you I use cheap stuff yes I do Child, I got bills I got bills, bills, bills. I ain't got time to be buying expensive makeup. She Glam, and it's like a, a dip pro, a dip, um, a waterproof tinted eyebrow product. You know, I'm in a loving relationship. We made five years the other day. We are both just not really ready for kids right now. And, you know, it's a lot of my friends that I went to high school with, they're all like moms. Um, they're all parents, even the guys, like they're all parents. The people I went to like middle school, high school with, everybody's parents right now. I feel like I'm like the one out of the group that's like childless, child free, I should say. But yeah, me and my boyfriend, we're just not ready. We want to get married. That's another thing. We want to get married. Um, maybe in the next year or so, we want to get married. Um, we've talked about it and he's someone that I can definitely see myself spending my life with. So we want to get married before we have kids. So, and I do want a baby because I, I do like kids. I love kids. Um, it's just that with my trauma and speaking of trauma, this month, April is childhood sexual abuse awareness month. So shout out to all my, unfortunately, all my childhood sexual assault survivors. I'm one of them um, because of my trauma that makes me more fearful to have kids because it's like I know I'm not going to trust my child with anybody because the person that did it to me was a person that you would never expect to do it to you that is literally supposed to raise you and be there for you and you know so it's like how can I trust anybody with my baby especially if she's a female um, especially if she's a girl I mean you know it's like that's like my biggest fear because I know if anything happens, I'm going to prison for life. Like, I have no issue doing that. Like, I'm going to prison for life. Um, not even joking. So, you know, just, I, I just have a fear of that. Um, but you know, I am, I haven't, I stopped doing therapy and I plan to go back this year. And, you know, I was working on therapy just like, that was what I was working on. Like, my fear of starting a family because of my trauma and, um, you know, now that I found the man that I want to start my family with, you know, I feel like we're at a good place. So we're both at this place where we're not ready for kids yet, but we do want a family. So that's that's pretty much where I am right now. Um, you know, Nikki had a baby at 38. Rihanna, I don't know how old Rihanna is. I think she's, I don't really know. I'm a fan, but like, I don't really keep up with like, Rihanna the way I keep up with Nikki so I don't know how old Rihanna is I think she's she may be my age 33 34 maybe and you know she just had a baby and that's kind of like old um generic I think if I was to have a child now or like next year my pregnancy would be called like a generic pregnancy because this is like an old age for women that's what they say in your 30s I don't know but you know People nowadays, like Janet Jackson, I'm going to be using the LA Pro Concealer. Um, my hands get dirty from the thing. Um, I've always been using LA Pro Concealer. It's a fade. It's cheap. And I'm going to carve out my brows and then do my highlight, etc., etc. So, you know, Janet had a baby at 50. You know what I mean? So, that's another thing. Like, people, like, nowadays, women are having babies older. And then not even just like I'm not even ready for a family. It's just like money wise too. Like babies are expensive. And I want to make sure that my child has everything he or she needs. I, I don't know if I'm ready to like. Because I know when I have a baby my all my time and energy and like money is going to my child. So I just don't think I'm ready for that. Like I'm in my selfish era where I'm buying all stuff that I want since I was a kid. Like stuff that I didn't really buy as a kid or I couldn't. You know my mom couldn't afford. I'm buying that stuff now. I haven't even really traveled, traveled yet. Like, seen the world world yet. So, carved out my brows, you see. Do, 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 do. Okay, so my brows and stuff is carved out. 
so i'm gonna take this brush i got this brush from bh cosmetics it's from their like it's like marble let me show you guys so they're like marble they're really 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 pretty um definitely recommend these brushes um so yeah i'm gonna just take this brush and i'm just gonna blend this out if you see me looking down it's because i have a mirror right here so yeah for my birthday my plans i don't know what my plans are usually i let my family plan for me like and then that's how it should be like on your birthday you should not be planning your own birthday stuff no if you have a, a significant other or a family you should not be planning your own birthday i never plan my own birthday ever um unless it's like a big party and i want people to come obviously i have to have some say so in it but i usually don't plan my birthday so i don't know what i'm doing i just know that i have my dress i have my wig and i have my shoes that's all every birthday i just make sure i pre-order my dress my shoes and the wig that i'm wearing and then my family and boyfriend they plan it and then i just show up i just show up that's all so that's what i plan on doing i don't know what they're doing for me but i told them i want music i want to drink i want fun you know i want to celebrate do my big one celebrate you know i'm here on this earth um yeah but i have my dress my shoes oh my dress and my shoes is nice but yeah so let's talk about work how is work for me because i know i got a lot of questions like how is working in the nursing home and you, you still work in the nursing home so currently and i'm hurting my back right now because this mirror is so low so i'm like this so i'm gonna just use this mirror um What's going on right now with work is I work in a nursing home in New York City as an agency staff, CNA, um, and I just put in my two weeks because I'm traveling again. Um, I was supposed to do a travel assignment beginning of January, but <sighs> let me just tell y'all, when I've been on Prozac medication, Fluxit, Fluxit, Prozac for five years, one day... You know and then family you know when you when you're black and you got family that's not really educated about mental health they look at medication as like the enemy so i love my family i love my boyfriend cool but they're very ignorant when it comes to my medication um more so where it's like oh you should stop your medication just don't take your medication anymore. i think you're good i think you're you're healed like you're great you don't need to be on it I don't know why it affects them so much because they don't take it. It's like, why does my me taking medication, why does that affect you? Like, you don't take it. I take it. But I guess it's like a, people know that I take it because I share it on social media. So I guess other family members know that I take it. And they probably feel like ashamed or embarrassed. Like, oh, my sister, my cousin, you know, my daughter, she takes medication. Like, you shouldn't be embarrassed about that. And that's why black people need to educate themselves on mental health. You should not be embarrassed about that. There's nothing embarrassing about that. What's embarrassing is smoking crack for 15 years. That's embarrassing. It's sad, but that's the result of not taking the proper precautions and being on medication. Now, I'm not going to say medication is perfect. Trust me, because I've had medications where I couldn't even walk straight down the block. My, my legs was buckling. So I know the pros and cons the ups and downs of being on medication. I'm not saying it's a miracle drug and I, I don't mean to disrespect anybody who has a family one, a family member that has been on crack for years. Cause I know that's a hard drug to come off and I know that they put it in our neighborhoods. Trust me, I'm woke. But I'm just doing what I gotta do for my mental health. And why does that hurt you? Point is, I was getting a lot of stuff in my ear. You're better, you're good. And then I was like, you know what? I am better. I've been on it for five years. You know, I've been doing great. You know, life's been good. I don't think I need to be on this medication anymore. And I stopped cold turkey. Yep. I stopped cold turkey. Don't recommend it. Don't recommend it. I stopped cold turkey. And I went on assignments without my medication. So before I went to the Wisconsin assignment, I stopped my medication. I was there like two months before I went to Wisconsin. I stopped my medication. I know I have PTSD and CPTSD. I have that type of, you know, and I know I have, um, I also have uh, OCD and not the OCD like, oh, I'm so clean. Like, I'm so OCD. Like, I have to clean up my house. Like, 
I'm talking intrusive thoughts that's telling you to jump off the fucking bridge, that's telling you to shoot somebody in the face, that's telling you that you're a pedophile, that's tell that type of OCD. I got medication. That was the reason why I would leave my assignments early. You know, I went to Wisconsin, left that a month early, then I went to Kansas. I left that because of, you know, my co-worker, but also because I was paranoid. I was like, I can't stay here. You know, I would have supported my co-worker. I could have just been like, okay, well, I'll help you get a plane ticket to go where you need to go. Um, but I ended up leaving altogether so abruptly because I was paranoid. Like, I was like, I can't be here by myself and da 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 but I had a reason to be paranoid, as you could if y'all heard the story. So anyway, I stopped my meds and my anxiety came back with a vengeance. It was like, oh, you gonna, you gonna stop your medication? That's what you gonna do? Okay. We gonna haunt you every day. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. I was having OCD like loops of thoughts over and 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 why and what if and what if and no and googling and am i really this and it was bad I don't, i'm shout out to my psychiatrist but like i don't have the psychiatrist kind of psychiatrist that like if he see that you don't call him no more or he see that you don't schedule appointments he gonna call and see if you're okay like no point is like if you're not paying me like i, I don't care and that's just how some of them are like yeah, you paying me, I'm, you know, talk to you, prescribe your stuff, but if you're not paying me and da da da, then we don't got to talk. And that's kind of how he is. And I got to respect it because it's a money thing. Um, I don't take it personal. That's just how the healthcare industry is. So, you know, when I heard, when I called him, he was like, wow, I was kind of worried. Like, I was thinking, like, where you are? And I'm like, so why are you calling me? But I told him, like, I stopped. And he was like, why would you stop? Like, you're someone that needs to be on lifelong treatment. Like, how worked, how did you feel when you stopped? And I was like, I was paranoid, I was da, da 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 Please, I need to be back on my medication. He prescribed it to me. And I'm thinking I'm just going to go back on 80 milligrams because that's what I've been on, 80 milligrams. Um, he like, uh, uh, no, you're going to have to start this all over again. And I'm like, excuse me? And he like, you're going to have to start this all over again. So I had to start literally Prozac from like 10 milligrams all the way to 80. When you start in um, antidepressants, it's hell. Because the medication makes you so anxious before it starts working. So there were nights that I wasn't sleeping. I was, it was, it was bad. I don't even know how to explain it. I don't even know how I survived it. Because there was times I was I'm like, I'm not going to survive this. You know, like suicide, like, I'm not going to survive this. I can't survive this. Um, because that's your anxious thoughts. Um, my eyebrows came out perfect. And it's so funny because when I do my eyebrows when I'm not on camera, they be bulky and big. But now when I'm on camera, they want to come out all perfect and that itches. But um, okay. so now I'm just going to do my contour. And I'm going to use this beautiful contour brush. And I got this product from DH Cosmetics. It's their Belgian waffle. Um, just says Belgian waffle and it looks like this. And then it has like contour. You can contour with that. Then it has like the other lighter ones. And then it has a whole bunch of like highlights, different shades like bright dark so this is like my favorite it was very affordable i'll link it below if you're interested in purchasing so i just go into this cinnamon right here I go into this cinnamon and then i just contour my face and i don't really use cream contours i hate cream con contours because i feel like it's just so heavy so point is i'm medicated and i'm on 80 and i'm doing fabulous i love being on medication and I'm never, ever, ever going to allow anybody that's not in my shoes to tell me to stop medication. Because I also have family, oh, well, what if you want to have a baby? How are you going to have a baby if you're taking all these medications and you're, med you're, you're medicated? How are you going to have a baby? And it's like, I'm just trying to get to tomorrow. I'm not thinking about getting pregnant tomorrow. I'm thinking about waking up tomorrow. Can I do that? Then we could think about giving birth and, and holding a baby in, in, my, in my uterus for nine months. You know, it's like, can we think about my mental health? It's not about, oh, you got a baby. I need to think about my mental health. The world wants women to do everything. And when women have trauma and mental disorders, oh, you crazy. You know that. Well, then can you let us heal ourselves? And then maybe we can become mothers and better people in society? Like, I, I, I don't get it. Um, but yeah, I'm on medication and I love it. And I'm never stopping my meds again, ever. And if I do want to have a child and I do want to get pregnant, that's something I will discuss privately with my doctor. 
listen, I want to have a baby. When do I, can I stop taking these meds so that it's safe for the baby, et cetera, et cetera. And you're damn right, after I have a child, I'm still going to go back on my medication. Yes. This is a lifelong thing. Like, trauma just doesn't get up and walk away the next day like, okay, bye, you're healed. Like, no. Trauma is stored in my body for life. And I've come to terms with that. So now I'm going to bake my face. And I'm going to be using the Sacha, Sacha? Sacha Buttercup Setting Powder. And I'm going to go wet my beauty blender because that's what you're supposed to do. And I got my beauty blender from, this is from Sheen as well. And it had like three it came in so this is the regular one i'm gonna go wet it come back set my face and then finish the rest of my makeup i'm gonna wet <laughs> i did wet it i'm gonna dip my wet beauty blender into my powder and i'm going to set this um highlight that i did um so like i was saying i was supposed to go on this particular assignment january because this is the one that i found for tay after we left the Kansas assignment, you know, Tay was staying in shelters in New York City and Tay's not from New York, Tay's from the South. So it was like very shocking to be from the South to be living in Brooklyn, New York, in a shelter. Um, and not an LGBTQ shelter at that because they were just literally pointless. Um, so, you know, and I, it was sad, but I made it my, you know, I did the best I could to look for another assignment. Like I was all over Indeed and emailing people and I was on the forums and I was on, you know, um, the Facebook groups and I found an assignment with housing and everything and the pay was amazing. It wasn't really with an agency. It was like straight from the facility. Um, and I told Tay and Tay flew out and that's where Tay's been all this time. If y'all wondering where Tay is at. Tay is doing fabulous, making fabulous money. But yeah, I was supposed to join him in January, but because I stopped my medication, I kind of had like a mental break, as I told you guys, because I stopped abruptly. Um, my medication I've been taking for five years, so I had to get back on it, and I couldn't be away from like where I usually feel safe starting medication because that's when I'm at my most vulnerable. That's when I'm my, I'm my most anxious. I'm my most paranoid and I could not have been in a place I don't know. You know, even though if I was just with Tay, it was just like, I'm at a still a place I don't know with new people, start medication. I don't know what the hell I would have did to myself. So I just didn't think it was safe for me to be somewhere, start medication all over again. So I got a, 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 a city, um, not a city job. I got a regular CNA job at one of the nursing homes here in the city. Um, the pay was really good. It was 26 an hour. Um, I was full time and pay every Friday. It was great. You know, it's a big, 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 big facility. I hated the floor that they had me on because it was very heavy. And um, yeah, but I just knew it wasn't like long term. I was like, I'm going to go back on the road soon because I like being a travel CNA. I love it. The money is great. I need the money. And, you know, I get to get out of New York City. And I'm still like in the works of getting my place and I don't know where that is yet. So, you know, I got to save as much money as I could. So now that I've been on my medication now for a good like, what, three months? January and April? I'm more than good. Um, and I'm more than good to be in a new place and to work and my mental is amazing. I'm doing great. Um, responding to treatment really well. I don't get any intrusive thoughts at all anymore. I sleep like a baby. Um, I eat like a like a, a greedy person still. That ain't changed because this medication makes you super hungry. So people that said, oh, you gained weight. Oh my gosh, you got so big. I'm medicated. I'm medicated because I'm traumatized. You know, um, I read a comment if you're watching this and it, it really shouldn't matter, but they were like, whoa, you got big. And I'm like, what, do, do you not have like parents or did, were you not in kindergarten and like the teacher told you don't say something that's not nice? Like, how are you to just come on my channel and say, wow, you got big? You know, like, like, God forbid, fuck, you're getting older. You, you, your metabolism is slowing down. That's number one. And two, you're medicated because you were traumatized as a child, which wasn't your fault. You know, it's like, I don't get that. Like people don't think before they speak. And then I have to reel it back and said, you cannot control what other people think. You cannot control what other people say to you. 
you can only control how you react. And that is where I am in my life. And what did I do? I blocked them. I think I blocked them. I think I just left it. I didn't even respond, but I, I, I ruminated about it. I thought about it. And I was like, well, damn, maybe they were, I did get big. But then I'm like, no, 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 you got big because you're medicated, honey. You're trying the best that you can do. You're healing. So shit, if you gain a few weight, if you gain weight, okay. But you, you mentally, you're okay, right? Okay, so that's all that matters. Fuck what people think, period. So that's where I'm at right now. So yeah, I just was like, eh, I'm just gonna leave that person. So if you're watching this, that's why the fuck I got big bitch. Um, okay. So, okay, my face is baking. I only, you see, I only do a little bit on my forehead. I don't really do the whole forehead, just a little bit. So that's going to bake. And I'm going to, what I do is I brush that powder off with a setting powder. And I think this is, this is the one, uh, this is the old one, but I use the BH Studio Pro. It's literally a dupe for um, Mac Studio Fix. It's literally a dupe. It's the same product, just cheaper. I, I guarantee like it's the same coverage, heavy, everything. And it's way cheaper. And I'm like hoping that they don't discontinue this. Cause if they do, I'm gonna have to just eventually buy Mac because that, that's my shit. But yeah, this is definitely a dupe, but that's the old one. I got a new one. Oh, here's my new one. This is the new one, you guys can see it clearly. It looks like this, and I have shade 240. I usually do 240 or 245, so that works for my skin tone. It looks like this, just like the Mac Studio Fix palette. Um, so let's let this bake a little bit. Let me see what lashes I'm gonna wear in between. Um, this is my lipstick palette. I got it from BH Cosmetics. BH Cosmetics, I need to um, sponsor me because I, I mean, I'm not really one of those I hate influencers where I'm like, I gotta send you free stuff. Like, I got money. Like, I'm gonna, if I like it, I'm gonna buy it. But, shit, I'm buying all your stuff. Y'all might as well do a little collab with me, child. I still got the, um, the lipstick palette. Um, this is like, you have to, I don't know if they sell this anymore. If they don't, I feel so bad for you. Cause this has just changed my life. Like, it has all the pinks. And as you can see, this one was my favorite. This one's gone. All the nudes, all the reds, oranges, all like the maroons perfect like i haven't bought lipstick in years the only thing i spend money on is like lip glosses mostly like the um i buy a lot of the nyx butter glosses because i put it on top of that and it makes it really like stand out that's really it though but i've had this stuff for years like i, I don't play when it comes to my makeup like i say i use it till it's done you know how some people buy makeup like every time some new makeup come out no i'm like that with clothes which i'm trying to stop like, I'll wear clothes once or twice, and I'll be like, oh, I gotta buy new clothes. But makeup, honey, I will not buy new makeup until this whole thing is done. Then that's when I'll buy new makeup. Like, I don't know how I've been like that with makeup, but I love it. Um, so, yes, I'm going on an assignment a week from now, actually. And I'm, it's, it's the perfect time. I'm in a great place in my life, mentally. Um, I'm celebrating my birthday this week um, and then another thing was I didn't really want to be on an assignment when my birthday comes because my birthday is just really special to me like even though I get emotional it's it's always like a reminder that girl you, you made it another year you know and to be somewhere without family or friends to celebrate uh, it's just a little depressing to me so I was just like you know what I think I'd rather just take a job for now work a few months save up some money and then after my birthday I could start an assignment for 13 weeks and um i'm leaving april 10th so when i come back it'll be like july 10th which is like a week after july 4th which i'm like oh, i want to i love fourth of july but it's not a big deal because i still have the rest of the summer the rest of july and all of august to enjoy this summer in new york city because summer in new york city is like a different experience child a whole bunch go down in the city in the summertime barbecues pool days family reunion stoop sitting on the stoop eating an icy eating some ice cream you got a little pina colada you got a little um little rum punch what they do they do the little ice cups in new york put the ice put some liquor in it put some juice mix it up and it's in a white cup so you know the cops can't see well i'm 33 so i don't think the cops would care but when i was younger when i was like a teen that was a summer thing in new york like we get like an ice cup full of ice liquor you know and drink it and just be walking around the block like hey what's that you know just being stupid <laughs> so i have to have a new york um summer but i couldn't miss that so i was like the earlier i leave for this assignment the faster i could come back and enjoy my summer 
I'm gonna go in with my blush, and I got this blush from the beauty supply store. The brand is Palladio, and it's a matte blush, and it's orange, and it looks like this. It was $6.99. Yeah. So I get my blush brush, which looks like this, and dip it in, and then I just do my blush. I love orange blush. Nothing fancy, just boop boop boop. Um, yeah guys, so I'm excited to go on my assignment. And I'm excited to see Tay. Um, because that's my buddy right there. Like, that's my travel buddy right there. We've been to, this is going to be our third assignment together. Technically second, because we didn't really stay that long for the second one. But I would say, yeah, this is like our, this is our third assignment together. This is my fourth assignment. So. And I'm really want to like, finish this assignment. I don't want to leave and quit it like i really this assignment i'm really going to be dedicated to like making as much money as i could finishing it and coming back strong like coming back with with, with bands okay that's what i'm trying to do okay so that's that so now i'm going to do my liner my liquid my, my popular liquid liner that i always do and i use nk makeup from the beast though you know it's nk it looks like this. It has like the gold top and it's black. I always use this liner. <laughs> Y'all, I just been healing and focusing on myself, my growth, self growth, and living life. That's what I've been doing. Um, shopping, buying myself anything I want, oh, acting classes. <laughs> like, I've really been into like, I think I want to get into acting. Like, when I was young, I always wanted to be an actress. I would be in the mirror. My mom had like this platinum vase thing with stuff and I would pick it up and say, thank you people. Oh, this is great. This, this Oscar is amazing. Thank you to everyone that, that voted for me. Like, you know, kid stuff. So it's kind of like a childhood dream to be an actress, but I've always, because of my anxiety and my PTSD, it was hard for me to like do that in front of other people. And you know, when you have like a kissing scene or a sex scene, like I was like, I cannot do that. Cause you know, I wasn't, I was traumatized. So I took it upon myself and I bought acting. Welcome to New York. I've always wanted to get into acting. That's like a childhood dream career. If you ask me like, what's your dream career? What's a dream career you could do if you, is being an actress? Like, and not like a fun, like a serious actress, like a Angela Bassett, like, um, Gosh, I need some more actress names. Like uh, Angela Bassett. Um, there's this new black actress, Dominique. She was in this show called Swarm that I watched. Fell in love with the show. She did an amazing job. Amazing actress. And she, like She's a new face. Because I think also growing up, I was like, um, when I went to college, I went to BMCC, my major was theater. And I changed my major to business because I was, people were like, theater, you're not going to make any money. You're going to be a starving artist. Da, 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 da. So I was just like, you know what, let me just change my, my major to business before I dropped out again. Um, and then started YouTube and stuff like that. But I always had that, I wanted to be an actress, but it was always like in the back of my mind. Like, you can't do it. You're not going to be able to do it. Like, every movie I watch, you see the same actresses like Gabrielle Union, Taraji P. Henson. And shout out to those women, but like, that's all you would see, like growing up, you wouldn't really see a lot of new black faces. Like you would see a whole bunch of lot of new white faces. I would see a new white actress every day. But black, you will never see new black actresses all the time. So I that that put me in a way of like, eh, they, Hollywood is very, black Hollywood is very closed. They not gonna really, it's going, you know, but now, excuse me, my nose, we have a lot of black shows coming out um, that are giving new faces a chance like we have like 50 cent like even though he's very controversial and I don't agree with a lot of the things that he does on his social media etc etc he's been somebody in the industry now that's been given a lot of new faces black faces um, work because you know he has a show power book raising canine can canine uh, I think it's canine um, and then we have like we just have a whole bunch of and then we have also a uh, elementary a bot elementary like you know and then bmf and i always be watching like i know i could play on bmf i'll be watching like you know cash doll character which she does great i'll be like i know i could i could be on bmf i know i could say meech where's my husband <laughs> um so i just be thinking of that stuff like girl you could do it um you know but let me tell you something 
acting is not cheap. To be in acting, acting class in New York City, there is money. Money. But it's money you gotta invest in if it's what you really wanna do. So I invested like my money in it and I'm gonna start and I wanna continue to do it. Like I'm gonna do beginners and they have like beginners too. Then they have like serious and like it keeps going on. You gotta pay for all of them. But it's like different levels and I really wanna go through each level and then like do like get some headshots and start applying on back back not back page what not back page i try to be on back page that's that's that nasty stuff um backstage yeah all right i'm gonna do my eyeliner So, you know, acting is it's one of my childhood dream careers. I just never pursued it, like I said, out of fear and money and fear of being in front of people, number one, my anxiety, and then two, scenes that, you know, I'd be scared to do. But now I'm at this point where, like, honey, if you tell me that I got to kiss me, I love my man, I love my man, I love my man. I love you, babe. I love you. But if you're saying I got to do that in a scene, honey, I'm going to do what I got to do. No black films and acting. Me and my boyfriend actually have a date, and I told him I want to see this movie. It's called The Thousand and One with Tiana Taylor, and I gotta support her because my girl's from Harlem, I'm from Harlem, and it's just inspiring to see a woman from Harlem where I grew up on a big screen like that. I don't only want to see the movie because it looks good. I want to see it because I want to support her also. I want to make sure that like at least I'm contributing to like money being in her pocket. You know what I'm saying? Or for her getting more work. My highlight right now, I'm going to go back into this Belgian waffle and I'm going to take this brush right here and I'm going to do my highlight down my nose and I did a highlight like right here between my eyebrows and my forehead a little bit. Then I, I go down my nose and I kind of go into the, this is powdered sugar and syrup. I go into powdered sugar and syrup. Then I do my cheeks. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go see that tomorrow. I'm excited. Now I'm going to spray my face with my cheap setting powder, setting powder. My setting spray I got from Beast Plus Store from Absolute New York Spritz to Fix. It looks like this. It was like six bucks and it does what it's supposed to do. And I'm going to spray my face. Now I'm going to do my lashes and my lips and I am pretty much done with my makeup. I blow it and then I take my mirror and I go like this so you can see your lash and then I just put it on top of it. I'm gonna vlog, um, trust me, y'all guys are gonna get sights. Tay's gonna be on the vlog. I'm gonna show you guys my room. Um, and at this time, at this assignment, I'm not actually staying in the facility like I usually do. I'm actually living in a house next to the facility with other travelers. So that should be interesting. Cause I'm always used to staying like in the facility in my own room, which I will be when I go to the house, but I'm living in a house full of like other travelers. Ooh, that hurts. Ooh, that itch. Um, and I've heard from Tay that these other travelers have kids with them, pets with them, husbands with them. So it's like a full house full of different stuff going on. So this should be an experience, child. And I'm hoping it's a good one. I'll take this. This is from Shelan. And it's like a two-in-one. It has like a liner and then it has like a lipstick. I don't know if I'm going to use a lipstick because I kind of want to do pink because I love pink. And so I'm texting my phone. I don't know who this is. This video to be too long. I feel like I'm talking a lot. Oh, yeah. 
I line my lips. I'm also getting lip fillers this Friday, actually. So you guys are going to see a video coming up of me getting my lips fillers because I had lip fillers like a few years ago and they went away. Um, they went down. They were my lips. My top lip is kind of small. So I like to get a little filler to make it a little bit bigger. And it went away because, you know, I didn't get it in a while, but I'm going to get it Friday. OK, so I'm going to do a pink lip because you guys know I'm obsessed with the pink lip. So I'm going to go inside of my BH Cosmetics palette and I'm going to be using um, I'm going to try to go and this is my favorite pink, so it still has a little bit in it, but I'll kind of mix it with these two. Um, so I'm going to do that now. So I line my lips first. And And I'll probably wear blonde. I can't wait for you guys to see my birthday look. Oh, my birthday look is like caliente. I can't wait to see. So I'm going to do a video on my birthday look, so don't worry. Because um, I have a special wig coming for that. So you guys are going to see my whole birthday look. And if you want to see like what I do, follow me on Instagram at Miss Chrissy J. Follow my Snapchat, Miss Chrissy J. My TikTok. And I'll post it there of how I look and what I do, etc., etc. et cetera. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my Butter Gloss in Eden Claire. Is this? Yes, Eden Claire. I'm done y'all i'm gonna come back with my wig and i'll be back that is all you guys this is the final look i decided to put on my nikki black china wig which is what i call it because this is giving me back black china from like 2014 um when she used to wear the blonde wig and nikki i put on all the chains that i own <laughs> i have my chanel necklace piece i have my barbie necklace piece and i have my newest edition this Hello Kitty piece, which I think is really pretty. Um, but yeah, sometimes I like to layer them up. Sometimes I don't. If I want to be real, like, extra, I'll, I'll layer them up. Um, so I feel extra right now. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, I'm not going nowhere. I just wanted to dress up for y'all and show y'all a look. That's all for this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave some comments below on everything that I said, everything that I spoke about. I love you guys so much. Don't want this video to be too long, so we're going to wrap it up. Um, if you watch to the end, congratulations. I love you. I will see you guys in my next video. But until then, keep slaying.